imagine at 12 and 13, a small little country decides because of an exam that you're stupid, you're dumb, you're not going to be much in life, and if you stay in the country, the rest of my life was already predetermined by a system that already made the assumption that I'm not good at anything anymore. Another really interesting speaker to introduce you to. Our next speaker is a digital marketer, entrepreneur, and published author. Satish Bala built Blue Band Brand and Digital, which is a turnkey marketing and digital agency, and he sold it in 2017. And I've just been chatting with him, and he tells me that for the last 20 years, he has built and sold businesses. Right now, Satish is the CEO and founder of Daisy Fest. Many of you may know that name. It's a not-for-profit organization focused on supporting South Asian youth who battle with stereotypes, cultural bias, and gender issues through the medium of music. Satish has his story that he would like to share with you. Please welcome Satish to the platform. Hello everyone, how are you? You could get a little louder, how are you? Okay, I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you a story about what it's like to get knocked down over and over and over again in life, but how to make sure you don't get knocked out. So, around the age that you guys are in, uh, I grew up in Singapore, and I took a test. Everybody takes a test when you're 12 years old, and they decide what you're going to do in your future. And imagine at 12 or 13, a small little country decides because of an exam that you're stupid, you're dumb, you're not going to be much in life, and if you stay in the country, the rest of my life was already predetermined by a system that already made the assumption that I'm not good at anything anymore. That was my first knockdown in life and I had no idea how to react. And the worst part was, I come from a traditional Indian family, and my parents 100% believed it. They were crushed that their eldest son was labeled dumb and stupid by an entire country. And the greatest thing that ever happened to me was moving to Toronto. I grew up in Scarborough when I got here. And one of the things I learned is through school and events like this and great mentorship, we get inspired, we get motivation, we get the, the, the stories we need to get up in the morning, go to school and do all those great things, but nobody's teaching us what to do when life gives you that sucker punch. And everybody's gonna get those sucker punches over and over and over and over and over, but how do we get ready for it? How do we understand what to do? So for me, I had to figure that out because we didn't have family here, I didn't have any mentors. This is before YouTube. There was no Gary V in my life yelling at me to get up again. So I started to life hack a vision of myself that I knew was true, even though nobody else saw it. And if you guys understand boxing, the first time you get hit and you fall to the ground, you get that first one, two, three count. And what you do in that moment is super important because up to that moment, before you got punched in the gut, you're full of ambition and hope. But as soon as you get punched in the gut, the first thing that shows up is fear. And fear plus your intellectual brain creates a story in your brain about all the things that are gonna go horrible for you. And I didn't know how to get past that. So I spent a lot of my time building what is now publicly known as an emotional bank. An emotional bank is all those happy moments that you experience every single day. The song you like, the hat you like, the shoes you like, the food you like. All of those things become an emotional bank because the minute you get knocked down, you need to find a way to turn that emotion into something so powerful that you can start to get back up. And for me, it was music, it was hip hop, it was my, my South Asian culture, it was my bow ties, it was my Nike shoes, 
It was my favorite movie, Scarface. And I put all this into a bank because as soon as I got punched again and again, I used those things to get me out of that state of mind from fear to something more positive. Because what happens when you get into the four or five, six count in life, no matter what it is, you gotta start making decisions, okay? I got hit with a $100,000 bill from the government because I didn't know what I was doing when I was building my first company. I had 72 hours to pay it, and all of my fears were reminding me of the things that I cannot do. I can't ask for help. I can't ask dad for money. I can't sell my stuff. But the minute you get through the first one, two, three count, you have no more fear. You have all sorts of opportunities to rethink your problem. And I was able to sell my car, get rid of my house, loan or borrow some money, sell my things, and something that I thought was impossible, making a hundred grand in less than three days, was totally possible. And I realized after that moment that as these knockdowns happen, what I'm really learning in life is how to get back up. Because everybody here has something inside of you that's full of hope and greatness. And it's not gonna come out just because you're ready for it. You gotta get it out through the life that you live. And every time we get a knockdown and we get back up to get back into the fight, it gets you closer and closer and closer to that person inside of you that's ready for greatness. I came from Singapore, 14 years old, labeled dumb, stupid, can't do much in life. 20 years later, I've sold three companies. I run one of the largest music festivals. I've sold millions of dollars. I've hired hundreds of people. I'm nobody special. I didn't come from a wealthy family. I realized what the knockdowns meant to me, and I realized that every time I stood up and I filled my emotional bank with positive energy, that there's another person in front of me that I've always wanted to be start to slowly emerge. And today when I look out at all of you young people, while you learn some great skills in school, start to focus on what your emotional bank is. Understand that everything that you feel like a knockout is not a knockout, it's just a knockdown for you to get back up. And hopefully, as you get closer and closer to that other individual inside of you that's gonna shine and make the world a better place, you'll remember that it's always been in there and these knockouts are a great way for you to learn. And like I said in the beginning, if I can do it and I stand in front of you as a keynote speaker with a great story, you can too. So in three seconds, if you 100% believe what I just told you, make some noise. One, two, three. A little louder, a little louder, a little louder. Thank you, that's my time.